Just before Christmas saw the passing of a colourful character. He was a good friend of mine and a proper gentleman. This little film is a tribute to Herbie Hale. I first knew of him years ago when I was a kid. He was always wandering around town with just a pair of shorts on. He was the first guy I ever saw that was heavily tattooed. So after a little while we used to walk the long way home so we could have a look at this tattooed man. It was something different. And then later on when I started working here, found out that I got to meet the guy and it turned out he'd led a really interesting life and done loads of interesting things and he was just a really great guy to talk to. I knew of him from a from a kid, you know, must have been five or six when I first saw him wandering around town with his pair of shorts on in the summer, covered in tattoos and it was like, wow, look at a tattooed man. This is a rare little piece of film of Herbie with tattooist Ivor La Alien from April 2014. Herbie spent a lot of time with tattooists, as you will now hear, in this 2012 interview. Herbie's a legend. That bloke from um, Mount Shrewsbury was doing it in his kitchen. And this was the first time you were Yeah, there were two. And I thought, I didn't like it very much. I thought, well, I didn't know where to go, really. And of course, when you get one, people soon tell you where to go. And I went up. See Jack and I didn't know Jack then. He, he worked with him, but I didn't know him because I went into um, was it? Oh, he was a character. He was out of his brains when he done me. He was well steamed. I didn't know that. Who was? It was a Cooper, Cash Cooper, the Ash Boy. He was. I went in to see him once, lots of times, but once I went out and uh, he fell off a bloke. He actually fell off his back. And then I also had the pleasure of making in cups of tea on a regular basis, which was always good. Got to listen to little stories he'd tell about the past, about his family. Twice a week, three times a week. I think there was one point where he'd come in every day and had a cup of tea. Went so through the shop, got to know him a little bit. He used to come in for a cup of tea and then a natter. Just thought it was you know, a good idea to make a little plaque for him. Have his chair in the in the studio. A couple of slices of toast, sit, have a little chat, and we all sort of got involved. He was like our little like substitute granddad that we had for the shop. It was lovely. I mean, there's loads of little stories that he had, wasn't there? By the time he went out, told his missus he was popping out and come back two weeks later because he'd been away with a circus, <laughs> gone out had a drink and ended up with a circus for two weeks, didn't he? Jock, you know, he was sure, so he went up there one day to see him and he could smell, he thought he was burning, he said, you're saying burning, oh no, 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 he said, no, he said, no, he, said. he had a, you know, he had some, the steam or what they steam to get things clean, you've got a bit of fish in there, you've got to time it properly, he said, so they have it come, he says, dynamite, and he starts eating it. So he's using his steriliser for cooking? Yeah, well, not all the time, but I mean, he had this bit of like I said, he was the first person I saw that was heavily tattooed, so that's obviously had a knock-on effect with me because, you know, at the time, I, it was like, wow, look at that. That, that one's when you get married, that one, that one there. That one's when you put out when you pass, like that. Right? That one's when you point. <laughs> Thumbs up. And this one is it's your tail <laughs> Yeah, we all went up to the hospital to see him. He was still full of life then though, you know, he just seemed so happy that he was going to go and see his wife. His wife, beloved wife. <laughs> and it was a pleasure to be around, really nice guy, and we're going to miss him, all of us, a lot, definitely. Yeah. What was it you were telling me yesterday that uh, Jack gave him some brown? He outlined everything with it, no matter what it was, fishes, roses, because he had so much of this brown, he, he just outlined everything with it. He had brown panthers, <laughs> brown butterflies. We all sort of interacted with him, we all had a laugh with him. I've always said to people, when, after he passed, I used to say to someone, oh, you know, Herbie's passed, and, um, they used to ask me, like, you know, what was he like? And, I, and the only way I could ever, ever explain him is you hear people say, you've only got one life, make sure you live it well. That guy has lived a life for easily 10 to 15 people. Easily. I got with Jack, really, I was stuck with him. When he done what I asked, 
And all the others didn't seem to for some reason. What? The terrorists would just do anything they wanted? Not exactly what you wanted, you know, you wanted something and it wouldn't turn out as you wanted it. I don't understand it really. It always reminded me of teachers, you know, you, you're the pupil and we'll <laughs> I'll do what I want, sort of thing. Well, they were arrogant then. Oh, sure, well, most of them were, but arrogance went along with some of it, you know. Some of them went and been personally they were without arrogance. You know, no. it was part of their makeup, good or bad. I think he liked to enjoy himself, didn't he? He had an allure about him, not just because he had loads of tattoos, because he was a nice guy to talk to, entertaining, friendly. I mean, everyone knew him. Because if he was anything like my granddad, same era, definitely same era. He, you know, it's not, it's not, it's not the same. Then everyone was stronger back then. They had more will. And just the fact that he's covered in tattoos. I mean, that's that's. Enjoying yourself, isn't it? You don't get characters like him anymore. And it was, he was just a great guy to have around. Really, really nice bloke. Entertaining, easy to get on with. And never a dull moment, really, to be honest. I'm going to miss him, for sure.